Well, thank you, Chairwoman Eshi, for calling this important hearing, and thank you to all of the witnesses for, for all of your work. Uh, I'm, uh, we have a very serious problem in America with the, this growing epidemic of vaping and e-cigarettes, and I've, I've seen it. My daughters uh, are, are uh, just in their early 20s, and over the past decade, I watched among all of their friend groups and kids all across middle school and high school as their behavior changed substantially with uh, the uptake of the, the Juul and e-cigarettes. And this is borne out by the Florida Youth Tobacco Survey run by our Department of Health found that from 2012 to 2018, there was a 361% increase in kids age 11 to 17 who tried electronic vaping and a 582% increase in kids that actually continue to use the vapes. And we all know that nearly all tobacco use uh, begins when kids are in middle school and high school. So that this area of what they do to target uh, children to and then get them hooked through through nicotine and other uh, habit forming uh, uh, characteristics, I think is ripe for us to do so much more. Now this bill, uh, reversing the Youth Tobacco Epidemic Act includes language making it unlawful to market, advertise, or promote any e-cigarette products to individuals under the age of 21. Is this strong enough, the language in the bill, and it gives the FTC in enforcement uh, ability and they can come up with penalties, uh, but I, I don't know if we're doing all that we need to do. I'd like to have you all go, go down real quick and just say, it's, it's not strong enough, it is strong enough. Uh, we had Dr. Shukat here from CDC and, and Dr. Shepardless from FDA. They called it an epidemic. They're doing some things with um, online and social media, but I, I continue to think it's not strong enough. What else would you do? It's a very good start. Um, FDA has authority to regulate e-cigarette marketing up to the limits of the First Amendment. They haven't done so. So that the kind of social media marketing which has fueled this epidemic needs to be the subject of very clear rules to prevent it from happening. Thank you. I would echo that. It's a great start. Um, I think the problem now is that kids are marketing it among themselves. So that's also another issue that's going to be hard to, um, to follow. And I think that um, we're talking about reversing the epidemic, the youth epidemic, but once, if you ban flavors and you, you slow down the uptake of new kids starting to vape, you still have five million kids who are potentially addicted to nicotine and there's no approved method of cessation, so that's what the next focus should be. One of the aspects I really like about this bill is that it restricts sponsorships, and that's a big thing that uh, was restricted with the 2009 tobacco control, so it's that Marlboro could no longer sponsor the Indy 500 NASCAR, but right now e-cigarette vendors can, and so that's one very important thing to, to clamp down on. So it's a great start, and in particular, the sponsorship and, and av sp avoiding all that is going to be critical. I think the greatest part of, um, and thank you, um, I think the greatest part of the bill is that it, for the first time in 10 years, takes up the question of menthol and prohibits its manufacture and promotion. Um, we know that it's one of the leading um, causes of death in the African American community. Let me also say, um, Ms. Eshu, um, I'm sorry for my interruption. There's just been so much discussion about marijuana that we should at least have the facts right, that 78% of the cases have identified marijuana, but 22 of the cases have it. We want to have a full discussion about it, then let's have a, a scientific discussion about it and not make generalizations. Um, so in, in answer to your question about um, the age 21, I don't think it goes far enough. I think what needs to be done is to not only raise this, the age of sale to 21, but to prohibit the sale of all tobacco products, including e-cigarettes, to stores that are only open up, only open to people who are 21 and older. I don't think there's any reason in 2019 that any kid can walk into a, a grocery store, a convenience store, a drug store, um, and buy a pack of Marlboros. I just don't think that in 2019 that makes any sense. I think these should be restricted to tobacco or vape shops. That's where they should be sold, and you can't go in there unless you're 21. Thank you. I yield back. 